This week on Sport Fishing, we're up north fishing out of Emeryville, California, and we're fishing for the new hook fin. And what we're going to be doing today is the different for rockfish. Never know what to expect up here. Might get a red, might get some blue rockfish, or maybe a link cod or two. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez, and I live to fish. That's a nice vermilion right there. Yeah! This is what fish is like. I have been fishing along the Pacific Coast my entire life. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. trying to catch and I'm using a four and a half ounce magic metal bouncing it right on the bottom. See this rockfish really wanted it had all three hooks in it. This is what we're gonna be doing fishing this shallow water right now only 20 feet deep and that's what you can do up here in Northern Cali you can fish in shallow water, fish the artificials, fish the live bait, catch fish like this and hopefully we'll get some like that too. Alright let's take a little break from the action here aboard the new hook fin and go to the tackle box and give you a good look at the gear we're using for today's trip. This week in the tackle box I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing up north. We're rock fishing here aboard the new hook fin and up here there's lots of different ways to catch rockfish. You can go with straight live bait, you can fish one or two hooks, remember two hooks is the maximum you can use here in California. You can use bucktails in your dropper loops or you can go with a straight jig. When I'm fishing a dropper loop rig, I like to use bucktails. So I use two bucktails, either a half ounce model like this or one ounce. And what I really like about these is they flutter in the current. So if a fish comes along and bites my anchovy off it, pulls it off, this is still going to attract a fish. That pulsating bucktail in the current down deep is going to get the rockfish excited. They're going to come bite it. Now, if I want to concentrate on getting a big fish like a lingcod, I'll just use a single bucktail, a six ounce model, either chrome or glow in the dark, and you can put a piece of squid or some other bait on there. It works out good. Even a plastic tail works out nice, and I'll use like a single tail grub and put it on there, bounce it right off the bottom, work it right close to the bottom where those lingcod live, and they'll come out and bite it. Now, in this week's episode, you're going to notice that I'm using a little personal private chummer, and that's what this is here the Pro Bait Seasonings, and it's just a little device like this. 
you attach it to your line, you can make a little dropper loop rig or use a rubber band. And I'd have my two bucktails below it, like here, and then another one much farther down. And this will attract the rockfish. There's no blood in it. It's not cat food, dog food. It's a, some other secret ingredients they got. We've tried it for the past couple of years. Works pretty good. So I just thought I'd tell you about it. And this is what it looks like. It's a pretty cool item. And that's a pretty simple gear. You know, when you're rock fishing up here in Northern California, you don't need a lot of tackle. You need an outfit to fish anywhere like 20 to 25 pound tests and maybe a heavier one, 40 pound, when you start targeting the link hod. And that's all you're going to need. All right, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Got another nice link on here with the P52 bucktail. Right on, buddy. He's loving it out. Uh, he's got one more to go. This oh. year you're, you're allowed three links on. That's a 49er fish. It's a half taco. Nice fish right now on the jig. Let's see what it is. Just bouncing it right here. Shallow water, about 20, 25 feet. Here it is right here, straight down. Oh, nice rock. Oh, nice. nice brown. Yeah. Just bouncing up. Yeah. What's this take? A brown rock fish. This is a, a brown rock fish. Is this yeah. a good eater too? Yeah, they are. Good, uh, good pull. That's what I kind of want, magic metal, four and a half ounce. Looks like a rainbow trout. I like to use these up here in Northern Cal because they kind of look like steelhead, a little salmon. Nice quality fish. Yeah, this is Jimmy. Went to high school with me, Montebello. Out here fishing on a new hug fin. And a beautiful link cod he just caught. This one didn't get away. No. And you got this one out. Oh, yeah, no. Like it. Shrimp fly off. Beautiful fish. Nice job, oh, yeah. man. Great, thank you. All right, we're going to take a little break from the action and we're going to go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these delicious rock fish we're catching today up here in Northern Cal. This week in the galley, we're in Uptown Whittier, and right now we're in the kitchen 
La Pescadora, and standing next to me is April. She's the owner. Hello. Here's our chef, and April's been kind enough to invite us down to do a fish dish for us. And April, what do you got in mind for us today? So today we're doing some fish tacos, um, a la plancha is what we call them here, which is grilled fish tacos made with um, some great ingredients, fresh cabbage and our chipotle mayo sauce. They're really good and Carlitos is going to make a great dish for us. And this is a little bit different because we see lots of fish tacos that are deep fried and battered. This one's going to be right on the grill. Correct. So Carlitos is going to start and throw them on the grill. Um, so our food is really good. It's made with a lot of love. Carlitos and the staff here really love to cook, so you get, it comes out in the food. Yep. That looks really good. Now he's gonna garnish, he's gonna top it off with some pico de gallo. Some, um, cat, we do cabbage here for the tacos. Mm -hmm. So he mixes in the cabbage with the pico de gallo. Nice and fresh again, we chop that up freshly every day. And then we put on here, it's a little different, we put chipotle mayo on our fish tacos, which really gives it that spicy bite mm -hmm. and that creaminess, but it's a little flavor that's a little different than some other, you know, the ensalada type tacos. Cool. There you go, it comes with rice and beans, it's our Baja taco combo. Well, this looks delicious. Before I take a bite into it, can you tell our viewers a little bit about the name of your restaurant? So the name of the restaurant is La Pescadora because there's a bunch of different uh, seafood restaurants that are kind of a mini chain and they're more the male derivative of La Pescadora but because a woman owns this we call this La Pescadora. So the fishing woman. The fishing, well I like to make, I didn't like the fishing woman, it named right. after a fisherman's boat, La Pescadora. Oh, okay. So that's I feel like boat. it's, yeah, because I feel like that's more of what we are, it's, even though a woman owns it, it's like it's my boat, right, where I go right. fishing, catch all the fish, all the shrimp, everything that we have for the restaurant. Cool. Well, I'm going to try one of your tacos. This looks really, really good. Mmm. That sauce is delicious. Right, and the chipotle mayo just changes it up a little bit. It's really good. It's traditional beans and rice. Beautiful dish, Chef. Thank you very much. And people can find you on Facebook? Correct. La Pescadora and La Pescadora 562. All right, well, thank you, April. Thank you, Chef. This was delicious. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Fishing with Dan Hernandez on the new hook fin. You never know what you're going to catch. <laughs> okay, Luca, we both hooked up at the same time. What a two, great day. Two black rock fish, one blue. Yeah. Nice vermilion. Nice vermilion. Probably about eight Off the whole squid. Yeah. There you go. Two at a time, but too small. Okay. All right. I still have them. I had a nice bite. I don't feel it anymore. I'm going to check it, wind it up. Switched over to two bucktails. We're fishing at Point Reyes right now. And like I said, conditions out here are a little bit rougher than inside, but we're seeing some nice lean cuts, and nice fish. Let's see what I got here. Get this all the way up. Oh, there's my fish. Yeah, lost the weight and a buck too. That's what we're trying to catch. And this is a little chumming device I tried on. I'm trying this out. It's a 
device that you can use down below deep for rock fishing. It kind of tracks the fish toward the bay. We got a fish right there. I'm looking for, but got them on the magic metal, just working on the bottom, trying to get a link cut. There's a one. All right, I'm gonna drop it back down, see if we can get me another one. Fishing a bucktail, piece of bait on there, and I just got hammered. Head shaking. Hopefully it's a link cod. Might be a nice red, but I'm hoping it's a link cod. Only got 25 pound test line on here, so you don't need to pump these. You just want to wind nice and easy. Bring the fish up to the boat. Got Dave standing by right here. Trusted deckhand here. The new hug fin. This is why you come up to Northern Cal, fish aboard the new hook fin, catch a quality fish like this. Again, there's a B-52 bucktail, have a little bait fish on there. And the thing I was using to help me a lot is this pro bait seasoning. It just attracts the rockfish around. So I think what happened is the little rockfish came around to this, and this guy saw my bait fish, came up and ate it. Sweet, nice 
Nice, like beautiful fish. Good 12 pounds. Yeah, it's probably one of the bigger ones today. Nice quality fish. All right, we're going to take a little break from the action up here in Northern Cal. And when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. For this week's tip of the week, Jay and I will be giving it to you. And Jay, first of all, I want to thank you and Dave. We had a great time fishing with you. We always have fun coming up. Thank you guys for coming up. That's always a lot of fun. So what kind of tip can we give the people? Uh, to always be prepared to fish uh, whatever conditions bring. Uh, today we had weather offshore, so we were fishing uh, shallow water and some little deeper. So always have uh, a arrangement of tackle from uh, light bars to heavy bars, uh, heavy sinkers, light sinkers, uh, shrimp flies, live bait leaders, just an assortment of both deep and shallow water tackle. And when you talk about light tackle up here in Northern Cal, that's what, 10, 12 ounces? Uh, anywhere from four ounce to eight ounce is four light. Ounce. Okay. And then heavy is any anywhere from eight to one pound. Yeah, at least 16 ounces. Yeah. So that deeper spot with all that wind, we need that every single time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's one of the nice beauties about coming up here. You have the varieties. You can fish that really shallow stuff and catch a nice link cut like we did today and then that deeper water if you want to work at it. Yeah. yeah. And when, with Jay over the years, we've done all kinds of different fishing up here out of Emeryville. We've even caught salmon up here. We've caught sharks up here. Just a variety of fish. So if you've never been fishing up here in Northern Cal, really recommend you come up here and fish out of Emeryville and come see Jay on the new hook pin. You won't be disappointed. Well, thanks, Jay. Thank you guys for coming up. It's always, always a lot of fun. We'll be back next year. I want to thank Dave, too. Deckhand did a great job. Always help us out. And for some reason, you forget to tackle. You don't have the right tackle with you. Don't panic, because the boat always has tackle on the boat. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing. And I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing. Right here on the Golden Gate Bridge, right there, right behind us. Thanks. Thank you.